when factored completely, how many factors does this polynomial have? Well, first thing we should do when we're looking to factor is to pull out a, a common number. Then I see the number two can be factored out immediately. That's the first step. Factor out a number, otherwise life will be very complicated. So this here is equal to two times x to the four minus 12x squared minus 64. So immediately we see here that when I'm looking at this bracket, the coefficient here is one, so it makes life a bit easier. So let's say that this here is equal to two times, and I'm gonna just focus on this inside part here. And the inside part, I'm just gonna break it down to two different brackets. So I'm focusing on the inside part here. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write x squared x squared, just because this times this is this. And I'm gonna focus on two different numbers that somehow multiply to 64, yet add to negative 12. So when we think of 1 and 64, that's not even close to 12. Let's try 2 and 32. Not quite. Let's try 4 and 16. 4 times 16 is 64. So this is actually interesting because when I look at the numbers 4 and 16, it somehow looks like 12 there. So let me play with the signs. Let's try negative 16 because I see this is a negative a big number so I want to kind of lean towards a bigger number positive 4 so these two numbers add to negative 12 and they multiply to negative 64 so we found the right combination we're gonna just go plus 4 minus 16 and it looks like we're almost done I'm tempted to write down the answer as three factors, one, two, three. However, it's very important that we know how to recognize difference of squares, because we're not quite done yet. I'm just gonna copy this, x squared plus four. And here, we can break it down one more time. The rule is when you have a difference of squares, you can break it down as plus the square root of that, which is 4 minus 4. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4 different factors, which is choice C.